the response has been phenomenal. I, uh, you know, the the thing is, doing this stuff and with with you guys and and, and other outlets is uh, it's spreading the word, and it's actually getting to the point where I'm getting a lot of um, messages through social media where they'll say, uh, "Hey, I had no interest in your book, but once I heard the interview and what it's about, I." Halfway through the interview, I went online and ordered the book. Can't wait to read it. So, it's a good, it's a great feeling, and um, you know, it's it's a fun book. It's an easy read. It's got great stories about the Attitude Era and some of the biggest stars in wrestling, uh, or most of them, especially with WWE at that time. And uh, it's just something that I'm really proud of. Uh, everything from the title all the way to the back page. It's uh, it's something I've put my heart into and. And it's stories that I was told uh, ever since I left uh, I, since I left WWE, and everyone seemed to enjoy. So I figured it was time to put it on paper, and uh, hopefully everyone goes out and gets it. And you know, I, uh, the feedback I've been getting has been amazing. Everyone loves the book, and I, I have yet to find someone to say, "Eh, it's all right," or "or it sucked." Everyone everyone loves the book, so that's that's a great thing for me. Yeah, oh, that's so awesome, and it's such a uh, it's such a good time to release a book too. There's not that many wrestling books on the market anymore, so it's really going to turn a lot of heads once it uh, once people start getting it in their hands and they start to thumb through it. And it's an era, you know, that is so beloved now, and uh, it's kind of hard to believe it's uh, you know it's been 15, 16, 17 years since uh, the Attitude Era, but it has been. And now when we can look back at it. Books like yours are going to be the uh, the resource for people to really uh, find out some of the deeper stories. But you know, we covered it so much in the last interview. But one of the things that is intriguing me the most is your story of becoming a wrestler and going down and training in developmental and kind of being you know not outcasted in, in a different land, but being you know an outsider going into a, a more southern based area of the country. And I thought that was one of my favorite things you told us the last time, but. What did you think about being able to put that onto the paper themselves and really tell that story? Because your journey through developmental, that's a big deal. You know, when you came in to go down there, that's a big deal to really learn. But it kind of relived walking through uh, putting that onto uh, the pages of the book. Well, you know, I mean, for me, it was it was easy to put it on paper because it was such a, a culture shock and, and being able to go out and, and learn how to, you know, learning everything backwards, you know, from going, usually you learn the stuff, then you, you hope to make it on TV. We were on TV, then we had to learn to make, uh, learn how to do it afterwards. So uh, it was, uh, you know, it was a definitely, uh, it's a unique story, but, uh, you know, as far as putting it on paper, it's all out there, and it, I've gotten basically everything, everything's covered in, in the book. So, you know, you, you, you you know what it's like for me, what I'm going through, what I'm thinking at the time, and and uh, it's just it, like I said, it just it gives you a perspective of what it's like to have to do that what what we had to do going through it, and uh, you know I just I think like I said I think everyone will be interested because it's it's very different from everyone else. 